Survivor's Journal. In my quest for oxygen, I went ahead and redesigned the scarab, added a, an oxygen generator right behind the cockpit, and put in a few air bottles. So now I should have a few hours of air worth in there. Afterwards, I managed to find the, an asteroid rich in ice and mined out a big chunk of it. I refitted the scarab with a couple of large thrusters just to make the journey faster and a bit safer since I'm not sure how long I have before I run out of oxygen again. Now all there is to it is prepare the survival shack to take in cargo from the scarab and still maintain an airtight seal. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, probably dividing the, the shack in two or possibly adding an extra compartment and leaving what I can't uh, maintain airtight, leaving that depressurized and uh, getting myself into a different pressurized compartment. But that remains to be seen. <whistles> And now that I have some ice, it's time to get myself a proper survival shack. Uh, temporary though it may be, it's still something the, that I need. Well, my survival depends on it, let's just put it that way. So I might as well invest some time into getting it functional. So let's grab the air vent and depressurize on. Okay, uh, so now there is no oxygen here, <clears throat> very well, and what I'm going to do is set up a completely automated system. On top of this, uh, I have four full oxygen bottles inside the scarab there, so that should be enough to complete this task. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually crack this thing open, Actually, let me check if I have the the inventory room. Yeah, I do, I do. Um, crack this thing open and make a make a room on top of of the of the current room uh, where I can just have a med bay <coughs> and an air vent to pressurize and depressurize it. I I will install an airlock uh, and make it yeah automate it too. Uh, so that it, I don't ha I don't lose oxygen every time I go in or out because the uh, the airlock itself is always pressurized. <coughs> so I'm I'm going to now get all these metal plates, set up the room, and log back as soon as it's uh, worthwhile. Well, and here is the basic layout of the room. As you can see, pretty straightforward. Uh, only an airlock, uh, you can see right here, uh, two doors, sensors on the outside, inside the airlock, and on the med bay, on the O2 room, I believe I'm gonna start calling it that. Two vents, one vent for the airlock, and another one just there, is my light on? It is not. Just there to oxygenate the, um, the O2 room. Uh, another sensor in there, and that's pretty much it, the bare bones of it. Now all I need is to actually cover up all of this. The O2 tanks are in refill mode, so they, they will not vent out anything just yet. Uh, all the doors are open, I need to, to keep... I need, I need to keep myself focused here so that I don't vent out all my oxygen. Although I do have a pretty nifty ice supply. And I still have three spare oxygen bottles in the scarab. Uh, but still, I'd rather not mess around with my O2. <laughs> I need that to live and in any case. Uh, so here we come. Hmm. I don't think I intended for that to be there. Let's uh, let's see if I can get rid of it. There you go, and you can stay. All right. Now it's only a matter of 
actually adjusting the sensors. So you can see the changes I made here on top of the oxygen generator I had a, a air vent directly attached now I have a conveyor there and a couple of tubes there so that's the airlock vent and above the conveyor is the O2 rooms vent and I can expand the room although I don't think it is necessary all that I want to do right now is to get these guys going so le let's call this uh, sensor temporary outside O2 room and we're gonna let, let's uh, back extend let's keep it to a minimum front extent is five meters okay top extent let's keep it on two meters bottom extent two meters two right extent five meters uh, that's all right and left extent we don't need it so that let me check info show sensors field range I don't know if this will show yeah I don't have any antenna set up here uh, so let me get rid of that so this sensor should be roughly this area around here now let me set up this one and the one inside to actually cover the areas the, that I want, so each individual room. Well, I found myself in a bit of a jam with these sensors because one thing I neglected to remember is that at least one of these sensors is actually um, encompassing the whole room and the way I set this up, this being a very temporary thing uh, this the sensor that was right here uh, was encompassing this whole room so I couldn't exactly do what I had in mind which was to play around with when uh, the player enters and exits uh, sensors field uh, that w was uh, throwing me off and I was unable to uh, actually program this the way it should be so I went ahead and decided to use button panels so uh, I already set all of this up so let's look for the timer get out so we are looking for a simple get out with a start no not start uh, trigger now that's what we want okay so I have two rows of two timer groups here and I can show those for logging purposes. Let's uh, let's actually name these uh, timer temp O2 get out. Okay, and these are the get in ones. So this is actually pretty simple, and it's the same principle for both the get in protocol and get out protocol, or enter and exit. Uh, so in the get in one, we start with O2 room get in right here, and you can see that what this does is uh, depressurize the airlock, uh, start the um, the next protocol, and make sure that both doors are closed. In principle, they should be because they uh, all the sequences end with the with the doors closed. But for safety purposes uh, and to spare some some air, uh, it closes all the doors and starts the get in protocol. Open outside. The open outside should be this one. What it's going to do is naturally open the outside airlock door and also add a safety measure uh, what this is going to do is toggle the block uh, the get in uh, block uh, it's gonna toggle it off and I think that this sh get uh, get in oh, this should be the temp get in open it should it shouldn't be protocol it should only be get in timer temp o2 room get in exactly so remove from toolbar get in this is the first one toggle block off 
this is the first one we we activate so as soon as the second one triggers it deactivates this one and this is a, a safety measure in case there are several people trying to get in it will not it will not be possible to get in again uh, until the sequence has ended so get timer block temp o2 room get in exactly and this is what we toggled off exactly okay oh dear lord uh, open outside we're gonna get give this five seconds in order for the um, uh, the actions of this one namely the depressurization to take effe effect five seconds to depressurize roughly 10 cubic meters of um, of room that should be enough uh, so afterwards li like we saw uh, the d the outside door opens and it toggles the first timer block off and toggles the next timer block on or starts the next ti timer block which is to close the outside door so close outside door after five seconds uh, just to give me time to get in uh, so uh, of course I'm not expecting any more people to come here but if they do and if they're friendly uh, I should have some safety measure but this this is besides the point so temporary airlock outside close and start the pressurized airlock pressurized airlock will uh, begin after two seconds which is only the time left for the time necessary for the door to actually close and naturally it will depressurize off it will pressurize the airlock and start the open inside uh, protocol so open inside will open after five seconds again to give it time to pressurize even if it doesn't pressurize completely uh, it, it will be kind of a draft but uh, but it won't be lethal or dangerous in any case if the the pressure in the airlock is somewhat lower than the one in the o2 room so this of course opens the airlocks inside door and starts the the timer for the Whoa, I think I screwed up here. Open outside. No. Airlock in. Open. Wow, I think I screwed up here. Let me see, let me see. Get in protocol. Set up actions. Open inside. Start. And open inside. Should. Door temporary airlock in. Open and start not the open outside oh yeah this toggles the block on of course this is the last uh, the last one in the sequence uh, toggling the the block on and now this is the get out protocol of course so I think I did everything like I should but I am going to test this out with my helmet on so let's go for it and oh no I need to pressurize this this room actually so let's go here and uh, hmm, oxygen oxygen tank auto refill stockpile off and this should pressurize everything let me I think the other door is closed it is so both of these are pressurized because the oxygen tank is connected to these two vents and let's see what happens here we press the button we wait for this to open thank you very much dear sir and I can already tell I screwed up somewhere because this hmm oxygen none okay and open and now I get out and the door should close behind me but there's something wrong there now it closes I think I screwed up somewhere there okay now let's try getting inside and I'm going to try and see if I notice any oxygen coming out jetting out shouldn't though now the airlock should be depressurizing I wait here 
Doesn't appear to have been any oxygen leaked out. Ooh, oxygen high, oxygen none. This thing is venting oxygen. Something is wrong with what I did here. I'm gonna have to figure out w what the hell's going on. In any case, yeah. I don't think it would have killed me, but still, something's wrong and I am losing oxygen here. Oh, and this doesn't close automatically. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out what's wrong. Okay, I couldn't detect anything wrong, but uh, I'm not sure. However, I do have a way to make sure that my suit isn't messing with me, which is to check the oxygen levels in control panel in the tank which are now at 5.12 percent and I'm going in with my suit if the oxygen levels uh, go down go down below 5.12 mm, something's iffy here so here goes nothing depressurizing for five seconds waiting for the door to open there you go door opens shouldn't be now it says oxygen high, and now none, again. Okay, door closing, pressurizing, oxygen high, pressurizing for 5 seconds, there you go, opening inside door, and oxygen is high in here. Now did I tell it to actually close this? I don't think I did. Okay, but let me check the oxygen levels in the tank now. There is one more room pressurized, so they should be slightly less, 4.61. However, I want to check them after I leave. So, um, hmm, let me see if the first step... Actually, let me see if this depressurizes this room too. It closed that room. Of okay. Uh, the oxygen levels didn't go down in this room, although the other vent in the airlock was already depressurizing. This is uh, a little flaw that I have to, uh, to address. Okay, door closes. Oxygen, go down to none. Down to none. Oxygen, none. Okay, good. Now door opens. And now I didn't get the oxygen high message. And door closes behind me. Okay, that should have been perfect. However, let's see what the oxygen levels in the tank are. 4.69. How... How... <laughs> Where am I losing oxygen to? Or from? This is exceedingly strange. It's when I go in. When I go in, that I seem to lose some oxygen. What if... Uh, timer, get in. Get in protocol. Or get in, set up actions. Depressurize. And open outside, start, open outside. Let's give, it, let's give it 10 seconds before opening up the outside. And le let me check if I still lose oxygen that way. If I still lose atmos atmosphere. Now it takes quite a while, okay. Let me get in here. Oxygen none, completely depressurized. Yeah, it gives me 5 seconds to get in. Now the oxygen levels should go high. Yeah, they remained none. So, I was at 4.69% of the oxygen tank. And now... Let me actually close this door behind me. 4.69... Oxygen tank. Oh no, it was 4.61. Okay, that's good enough. Let me just get some energy in my suit. Uh, that ought to be enough. 4.61. 
Okay, I'm not consuming... That's not what I want. I am not consuming any air because I'm in my suit. So, if these 4.61 remain, I should be set. Come on, door close. Oxygen high. Go down to none. Yeah, air vent is venting out the oxygen. Oxygen none. And I get out. And the door should close behind me. Okay. Oxygen tank 4.69. Okay, it's higher than the... So these... 0.08% difference. This 0.08% difference is f from when the airlock is uh, is pressurized or depressurized. Okay, I'm not sure what happened because I I didn't I didn't make a, a whole lot of uh, of adjustments here. But there you go. Now all I need to do is actually connect a, a connector here to that cargo container. And I should be set to transfer the 125 tons of ice that I brought in the Scarab. But that's going to have to be for another journal entry. Because right now, I have to take a break. Hey everybody, just wanted to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A little bit of a technical episode here, but it was really fun to do and hopefully I'll be doing a lot more in the future. I really like this sort of, uh, of gameplay. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. Lots of people have been subscribing to the channel. It's going wonderfully well. Uh, hope you're enjoying the other videos as well. There's City Skylines, there's Homeworld Remastered, a whole lot of content on the channel, so feel free to explore and until next time, as always, I have been the Neural and I hope you have an awesome day.